Oh my gosh, hello guys! So today I'm going to be doing a first impressions on a manga series that my friend let me borrow. I'm going to be talking about I Want to Eat Your Pancreas. This is a manga written by Yoru Sum Sumino and art by Idumi Kirihara. I cannot pronounce names right, but that's just who I am. It's my accent, so deal with it. And this is about a young boy in high school who finds this diary at school, and he learns a very, very deep, dark secret about the main girl on the cover here. Her name is Sakura, and she is actually dying of a pancreatic disease. Her pancreas is failing, and... Because he finds out about this disease, she latches onto him, and he becomes the only person that knows about her disease and knows that she's going to die in a year. So a romance ensues between the two main characters with this dark cloud over their, like, relationship, knowing that this is going to end eventually. And I found this story very, very interesting, very very dark and very serious um, and there's there's that's definitely the point it was written that way in order to make you think about life especially life I found the story very very uplifting in a lot of ways because Sakura is very she has to stay very positive about life because her life is very is going to be cut short soon and so she lives every day as if it's her last, which is a very, very smart way to live your life for anybody. Everyone should live that, that way, and everyone should try to make the most out of their life forever. We can understand her struggle because of that, and it also kind of shows us a new way to live our own life, and I found that really, really interesting. I think that's my favorite aspect of the book. I could relate to the story in some ways because, I, as you all know, I've been dealing with my own grief right now, and it, it's made me see life in a very, very different way. I, I Seriously, like two months ago, my life was so different than it is now. I, I feel like I've grown up a lot. I feel like... I've become a different person in some ways, and I just, I really, really like how this story handled the sensitive topic of death and grief and life, mostly. Life is the most important lesson in this story, for sure. Another really cool aspect about this manga is the fact that the main character is very reclusive and very just somber. He doesn't really do a lot. He doesn't do a lot with his life. He doesn't have any friends. He doesn't really talk to people. He just kind of stays on his own and doesn't talk to anybody. And I think that meeting Sakura was a very, very important thing for his life because his life changed drastically because of it. And it made him a stronger person by the end of it. And I think that's my favorite aspect of the book. I loved their relationship and how they went off of each other, how they taught each other things about life that was really, really, really prevalent and important to the story. I think that's probably my other favorite part, favorite aspect of the book. The story also read very, very fast. It is thick. It is, I believe, 400, 500 pages? 400 pages. And so, uh, despite being big, it is a very, very fast read. There's not a lot of, like, dialogue. It's very artistically drawn and very told through this like the artwork for sure so that's definitely something to consider if you want to buy this book i really really liked it though i i don't really have very many negative things to talk about it again i love how this story handled death i it was very very true let's just say that i was not expecting it even though we knew what was going to happen i was still not expecting it if that makes sense you'll understand if you read it but just know that they did it in a very, very smart way, and it's very, very true to how death actually is, and how grief is as well. So I really love that aspect of it. I could definitely relate to it, and I would highly recommend this book. I honestly don't really have anything bad to say about it, I guess, just that it's very, very simple, and that's not really a fault, I guess, but there's not... A whole lot more here besides the life and death 
storyline. So keep that in mind if you're interested in buying this or maybe reading it from your library. I think that would be a good suggestion. I am, however, very, very interested in watching the movie. I'd love to see how they animated it and how the story is told that way. Because even if it's like, because it's directed by somebody, so someone has a vision of the manga, so it could be somewhat different, I'm not sure. I'm very, very curious, though. So have you read this manga? Let me know in the comments below what you thought about it, and yeah, it would be really, really cool to talk to you about it, find out what you thought. I would love that, as always, because I love talking to you. And yeah, guys, thank you as always for watching, and please remember, for the love of all that is gay, stay sexy!